Hi booktube, this is Kelly with books I'm not reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, there's a, hopefully a lot of uh, new people on here. Um, Katie from Books and Things, thank you for mentioning my channel. If I could send you a muffin basket, I would. Um, but definitely um, welcome all, all the all the people who are new to my channel. So I really appreciate having you here. I'm going to be shooting several videos this weekend, so um, if that's not really the norm, I try to shoot for a one to two. Um, but there's just so much, there's been so much going on, and there is so much going on, so anyway, so you might get kind of a lot from me this weekend, and then I'll be spaced out a little bit more in the next month. Um, so the first thing is that I am still relatively new to booktube. I think my channel started at the end of June and I I did not anticipate how cool Victober was. Um, so I didn't know very much about Victober until of course recently when all the videos have gone up. Um, October, for me, I've always planned, uh, well, not always. So, when I was working at Barnes & Noble, Christmas in retail, the retail world, starts, you know, at the latest, uh, August. And, as my, I, like, I love Christmas so much, but six months of Christmas is just too much. And so, I started using October as kind of a way to protect myself a little bit from the craziness of what happens in, in retail at Christmas. So I started devoting every October to trying to read mysteries and things of that genre, some scary stories. Um, and so I already had my October TBR fairly well planned out before all the announcement videos about Victober went up. So, oh! I am still planning on making some Victober related um, content, but I am going to stick to the TBR that I had currently planned, and then next year I will I will definitely um, be up for that, so I'm looking forward to that already, but just to know these things that were going to come up. So, like I said, in October, um, I try to devote the month to reading... Um, you know, I'm not into like horror necessarily, um, but like thrillers or suspense. Um, so I'll be doing some videos related to those things as well this month. So I usually read uh, one book by Henning Mankell, although eventually, unfortunately, I'm going to run out. But um, so this is part of the Kurt Wallander series. This one is One Step Behind, which is the seventh in the Kurt Wallander series. Um, there's kind of a prequel of stories, and then, I don't know, there's some other uh, other things, but uh, anyway, so I really like Kurt Wallander as a detective, and I've enjoyed just, you know, looking forward every year uh, to reading one of these, at least one in October, and then maybe one another part of the year, but anyway, so that was always on the list. And then um, another book that I've really been wanting to read for a while is The Red Breast by Joan Nesbo. And I believe this is the first, yeah, this is the first um, novel in the Harry Hole um, mysteries. So, um, yeah, I think it sounds fantastic. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to um, dive into this. Then... Another um, author that I fit, think fits well um, into this month is John Le Carre, and I'm probably going to do some kind of author spotlight or just talk about his books in general at some point during October um, because I think he is such an amazing writer, and um, I mean, I would consider this his books more contemporary literature rather than just a thriller. Um, they are not necessarily easy reads, at least for me. Um, so anyway, this is um, Smiley's People, which is um, the third in the, I always 
get the name the Carla Trilogy. So this is the third one in the Carla Trilogy. And part of why I want to get through this is because there's another new one um, called Legacy of Spies. So I don't know if I'll get to Legacy of Spies this year, but um, I got to keep, keep moving along so I can enjoy the world of the circus and George Smiley. So we'll talk more about uh, John le Carre. And again, I might be apologize, John. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name. But anyway, so here's one. <sighs> then, um, Jason bought this for me. This is called Murder at Brightwell. Murder at the Brightwell, excuse me, by Ashley Weaver. Um, and it is an, a series, the first in a series. Um, and I believe it's like the Amory, Amory Ames series. Um, and I, we actually um, first heard about this series on Steve Donahue's channel. Uh, and yeah, it just sounded like a fun series maybe to start a new, a new uh, mystery series that I can look forward to uh, in the falls. So yeah, I'm excited about this one as well. And hopefully, hopefully it will be a... Um, yeah, an enjoyable read. So, I usually also try to fit in at least one Agatha Christie story. Um, I don't have any on hand because um, I just tend to shuffle those around, or um, the library has a very intense Agatha Christie collection, so I don't feel the need to necessarily own them because I could read any of them at any time. Um, in honor of October. I am going to try, and I don't know if I'll be able to or not, um, but I am going to try to get to one uh, book that does cross over from my Halloween reading and Victober, and this is The Haunted Hotel by Wilkie Collins. I believe it takes place in Venice. Um, so, yeah, it's not a huge book although it is Wilkie Collins, so anyway, so I'm going to try, if not this year, then definitely next year, for sure, when I'm fully participating in, um, Victober, so, so I had all of those books planned out to read, and then the library <laughs> emails me and tells me I have a book on hold, which I was excited about, I did not know that um, I must have been first in line for the new Robert Galbraith, a.k.a. J.K. Rowling, um, Kermer and Strike novel. Uh, this is the fourth in the series called Lethal White. And it is gigantic. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, again, it, these books don't take me terribly long to read. I, I think if you look at just, you know, I mean, they're not, not super long, but if, I mean, this is at least 200 pages longer than all of the other books. Um, so, and I just want to say, I, I try, I try not to really talk that much about JK Rowling on my channel because I think, um, plenty of other people out there are doing that, uh, on a more frequent basis, but I think it's cool. I think it's cool that um, she has a mystery series that she is, you know, was writing in under a man's name. Um, so I will try again to do a video at some point in October just about this series. So we have Lethal White, Murder at the Brightwell, a recommendation from Steve Donahue, The Red Breast by Joan Nesbo. Smiley's People by John LeCar, and oh, One Step Behind on a Kurt Wallander mystery, which is a great mystery series. If you haven't tried it, definitely check it out. And hopefully, I don't know if I can get to it or not, you guys, um, The Haunted Hotel by, by Wilkie Collins in honor of Victober. Um, so, I don't know. Let me know if you think I can get through this in a month. <laughs> I'm not a very fast reader, so um, some of this may slide into November. We'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited uh, to get to these. I've been waiting to read some of these for a really long time. 
so anyway, if you've read any of these or if you're like super excited about October or if you do something specific in October as far as mysteries, um, if you have any thoughts on any of the books that I've mentioned, let me know in the comments section below. I'm really excited to hear from those of you who are new um, to the channel. And like I said, I'll be posting several videos this weekend. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.